Difference. You only listen for one. Come on, anorexia dinner. Real food, oh, remember? Protein. Prehistoric. Mm, packed with fat around the old heart. Do we have to listen to that? She's your daughter. Yes, but she listens to you. Only for a second. The rest is just white noise. Hey, Dad. Do you know Sherry's old man got busted for drunk driving? Her mom went nuts. I don't think that's any of our business, Noreen. Mr. Bomler's a client of your father's. I hope you don't call him the old man. Well, he is an old man. Of course. Married to an old lady. I thought you didn't like Sherry anymore. Well, I don't. But I think her old man getting busted is pretty neat. He didn't get busted. Criminals get busted. Mr. Bomler was arrested. The guy was a camel out of his mind. I saw him a couple weeks ago coming out of that dump on Elmwood. He did a compass to find his own hands. So, tell me, how's the clarinet coming? Ah, uh, terrific. I'm turning boredom into an art form. Now, Kenny, that's the same clarinet your father learned to play when he was your age. Ah, uh, yeah, it must come in real handy when it's to serenade some dupus into a whole life policy. Just what is it about me that you don't respect? Nothing. I just think the clarinet stinks. So does the meatloaf. Quiet, stay alive. <laughs> Diane, please. Do what he says. Listen, we'll do, we'll do anything you want. Just don't hurt anybody. What do you, what do you want? Ask your little no-color choir boy, huh? Oh! You owe me six oh, grand. Oh! Kenny, do you know these boys? Mom, please! Look, guys, I'll get it. I just need more time. Get it, get what? What is... <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> New jag in the driveway. Come on, give up the keys. Give him the keys. We take little sister here to the prom. It was nice meeting you folks. Sorry we can't stay for dinner. Some kind of cowboy that run into the middle of a shootout and sling lead. Police works of science now. You got your computers, you got your forensic, and you got your wimpy public defender who will spit your case out of court unless you ask his client what kind of rosary his mother used to pray for a mom. Yeah, yeah, I know, but listen. Let's say we get a call, uh, a 415. We got six guys with knives and chains who are ready to do some damage on some cops. Cops who happen to be us, what then? Uh, we leave. Get out. Okay. But we can't. 
because they got some lady with them and she's screaming for help, huh? We still leave. I don't. You do if you're with me, Pancho. I got six months left in the stage play and I'm not going up and smoke on a 415 where some little old lady is screaming for help. My old lady screams for help. Big deal. I take it to the movies. Is that what they taught you in the academy? 30 years ago, there wasn't any academy. Just the streets. You rode in the back seat of a black and white for a week and a half, and you got to go to grade school and a couple of guys who were trying to kill each other or taking stuff that wasn't theirs. It was simple then, but like I say, police works a science now. From what I hear about you, the uh, academy must have a new John Wayne goes to cop school course. There's two guys you rode with both ended up in the clinic with busted noses. Seems you like to roll in hot and kick tails. I don't want to kick tails. Yeah, you do. Because with that baby face you got, everybody's been kicking yours since the seventh grade. I knew you're dead. He was a good cop. One thing for sure, he was a hell of a lot bigger than you are. One fever six, code one. Well, maybe that's why I made such a good target. Yeah. One zebra six, go. At 211, report at 729 Sycamore, corner of Herman. One zebra six rolling, over. Well, wait, 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 on the train. You can get the train. Thank you. You say you uh, never saw these guys before? Well, no, I'm in insurance. Well, and at this point, I hope that Jaguar of yours is covered. Because unless I get something to go on, it's going to be prime gray and sold in pieces by tomorrow noon. He won't tell me anything. He's locked himself in his room. <sighs> Last time he did that was when you wouldn't let him go to the Eurythmics concert because he got a D in gym. What a star my brother is. He can't even throw a baseball. Hey, are you old enough to be a cop? You look just like that kid in Pretty in Pink. Yeah. <laughs> But we don't let them wear pink anymore. Attracts attention. Miss. Hmm? <laughs> Do you think there may be the possibility of your older brother Kenneth having previous knowledge of the suspected perpetrators? In other words, Princess, did he know these jerks had ripped off your dad's car? Oh, uh, they said they knew him, but I doubt it. They're pretty hard guys. Kenny's in the school band. Huh? Thanks. No, is mine. Maybe it'll not so big enough to have its own zip code. Anyway, we let Clint Eastwood here drink coffee up until 10 o'clock. Did you get through to him? He's scared, Bill. You're the one who uh, just finished domestics, partner. You're up. Kid graduated top in his class at the academy. But personally, Bill, if Kenny were my kid, I'd unscrew the hinges on his door and beat it out of him. <laughs> Please forgive my partner. He went to grade school in the backseat of black and white. <laughs> Is your son a good student? Except when it comes to gym, yeah. You flunk that, you don't get to go see the Eurythmics. Kenny, the police are here to help you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Kenny, get down here! Give me a second, all right? Scared, huh? Did you know the guys that stole your dad's car? I won't tell you, spit. It's not against the law to be afraid. So why don't you just leave me alone, all right? Okay. But what happens if they come back? Doctor, he got diddled in the splash can. He wasn't going to tell us a thing. Why waste time? Look, we turn it over to Juvenile, and they'll enroll Kenny and his old man into a tough love program or something. Like you're the expert, right? Hey, pal, domestics graduated top of the class. Anyway, that kid was too scared to tell us anything but what wasn't true. Three weeks in the field, and I'm writing with a child counselor. Here, let's see what they taught you about driving one of these, and watch the potholes. I got hemorrhoids, too. You know, Charlie, maybe your old lady should have you put to sleep. My old lady does put me to sleep, kiddo. That's what makes the marriage work. <laughs> 